Hey, welcome to another heavy metal diecast video. And today's example, yes, is a plain old brown box. Uh, um, I bought this particular model of second hand. Um, it is, uh, as you will soon see, not exactly in a pretty box, but the model itself is perfect, unused, unopened. And we'll spin this around, and as you can see, what it is now is a, a Bristol Bowfighter. Now, this is like um, an Altea IXO brand. Obviously, it's I think it was with the magazine because you can see the writing on the bottom here. As I think they came out with magazines and and things like that. There was editions of models that came out, diecast models that came out with some magazines. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but that's what, from what I see. Um, this was a British multi-role uh, aircraft introduced in 1940 during World War II. Uh, used by various Allied Commonwealth forces like you know, English Air Force, Australian Air Force, Canadian, etc. Um, it was mainly used in a heavy fighter role as well as um, anti-shipping and night fighter roles. Um, so, as you can see, um, it's a fairly decent looking model uh, for $40, delivered. <laughs> I'm happy with that to have an example like that. So, um, I think uh, nearly 6,000 of these aircraft were made between 1940 and 46. So, let's, let's try and get this open if we can get the tape off. So, we'll get our plus trusty bleed and get that. There's more tape there, and there. That is done, and we'll get this open. So, if it, that's me. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that out of the way with no great skill, obviously. I am lacking in skill. Um, so, landing gear, uh, propellers obviously have to be fitted. Um, so, we'll get this out, see how it comes out. Oh, jeez. This this is very heavy. <laughs> this is definitely a, a very nice model indeed. This has got a lot of weight to it. Oh. I'm surprised actually by um, how heavy this is. Um, as you can see, very very clear, concise markings. English markings. Um, comes with a base, obviously. Well, it says details of the aircraft uh, from the United Kingdom. Um, but yeah, as I said, these were um, flown in other Allied Commonwealth forces. So it's the underneath of the aircraft, very detailed with rockets. Um, obviously the sort of fighter bomber roll configuration. Um, the colourings look very nice. Um, I think it's quite detailed. Um, for, for, for $40, so I think it's uh, quite a good example for, for, for $40. I mean, you don't get a pretty box or anything like that. Um, but you don't display them in a box, uh, you know, you put wheels on it and put it on a shelf. So, and that's what I'm going to do uh, with this bad boy. Um, so, yeah, no, I'd definitely recommend it if you can pick them up um, at a reasonable price. This is definitely a nice, solid, solid model. Um, very solid die cast, clear markings, uh, paint's very nice, um, markings are beautifully done. Uh, yeah, definitely recommend it. And uh, yeah, no, I'm very happy with it. So if you can, uh, so that's $40 Australian delivered to my door. So yeah, as I said, if you can manage to get it at a good price, definitely grab it if you don't have one of these uh, in your collection. So this, yeah, this is RAF markings, as I've said. So yeah, I'll uh, endeavor to take some more photos and uh, put some close-ups on there and and we'll do um, do the usual. And I'll have some, yeah, some detailed shots on after this video. So once again, you know, if you liked it, if this was helpful, give us a like and um, and thank you very much uh, for watching. So yeah, cheers.